What's up guys, Dakota Beast here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple loading screen for a Gershwa server. Last time I did this tutorial, um, I kind of forgot one of the important things and that was the music code. So you can like add some background music um, from a YouTube video. Uh, and yes, this video is based on just a simple picture or something similar to that. Um, so yeah, this requires some sort of website or somewhere where you can host uh, your HTML file. Um, so no, you can't use your garage mod server. It, it it don't work that way. Uh, it would be nice if it did, but no, sadly not. So yeah, I will go to a www folder. You're, if you have a bot um, website, it will probably be constantly like public HTML. In here, I'm going to make a new folder called loading screen. Loading screen here, and I'm going to make a new text document in here called index.html. Remember to move the txt at the end. Hit yes, and I'm going to use Notepad++. Plus, you can use any other editor. So if you're not a per or coding person or don't really want to learn this, you can just go to the description below. I'm going to put a link to the pastebin. You can just copy this over to your own HTML file. So in here, uh, you have to open up HTML, close it, and then we need the head and the body. So head, close head, open body, and close body. So in the body, we're going to set a title. This is not really important because the player is not going to see this title. It will only show up if you're visiting the site from uh, from your browser. So I'm just going to call this something like TCP. Uh, loading screen screen and uh, then we're gonna insert the image into our um, web page so we're gonna type in img src and we're just gonna leave this playing for now open style and we're gonna open up double quotes and set max width width here we go to 100% and max height to 100% Open alt, alt, something like that, and just leave that blank. Close it at the end. So now I'm going to copy my image into this folder. I have one laying right here called loading screen.php. So I'm going to place this image um, in the same location as my, as my uh, HTML file. And I'm just going to copy the name. Now I'm going to insert that here, hit save, and you can see here if I go to my website it will show up uh, with, them, with the white background it looks kind of stupid stuff like that so to fix that go up to your head open up a style tag and that's type and that's text slash css close it again down here and we're gonna style the body so open up body curly brackets whoops close curly brackets and the first thing we're gonna do is a margin Zero pixel, padding, zero pixel. And I'll remove this white yeah, padding in the top or marking in the top. Uh, and then we're gonna set a background color. And you wanna find a background color that kinda fits with your uh, loading screen. Uh, and there's also a good idea to make it the loading screen like fade out a bit maybe. Uh, so that's just background color. And if you want a black one, it's just hashtag. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, if you want to use other color than black, you can go to colorpicker.com, find a color and copy um, the hex value from up here. Uh, and you can see here, if I reload my site, it'll turn black. And don't use uh, Firefox for testing because it's not going to work that way. Uh, I don't know why, um, why Firefox doesn't support this, but. Um, Google Chrome and the Internet Explorer does. So, Garage might use uh, Internet Explorer to display the lo loading screen, so it's probably a good idea to test your loading screens in there. So, you can see here, if I reload my site, uh, you can see here it will fit to your lo screen locate or to your screen uh, size. Let's see here. You may get some of the background, but it's not a good, good idea to stretch, scratch or whatever it's called, uh, the image. But yeah, now for the last part, and that's the um, the image. 
So we're going to open up our object. We're going to put a star on it so we don't see this. And that is height, 0 pixels, and width, 0 pixels. Uh, and we're going to close that again. And we're going to open our input. Embit src. Don't put in the anything in there yet. Type that's application slash oops slash x shock wave flash. Yeah, looks correct. Um, and type in allow scripts or allow script assets. There we go, and that is always. So that should work for now. Hit save, and now go to your favorite YouTube video or your favorite song, and copy the ID from here. Uh, I just first off gonna get the link here. Insert that into there, and now go to your video again. Copy um, the ID for the video. You'll find that after the watch. And question might be an S or equal. Uh, copy that and insert it right here uh, where all the place access is, yeah, whatever. Uh, insert that there, hit save, uh, and this link will just replay, like, uh, just play the video over and over. So if you see here, if I go to my website, refresh it, oops, I see I did something wrong here. Oh yeah, um, at the end, type in with. Uh, width is zero. Oops, did I do that correctly? No, uh, width is zero and height uh, is zero. So that should work now. Uh, let's see. Yep, we did everything correct. Let's start to save that and reload the page. There we go. It should start playing in a second. Uh, and Let's see, we also need a loud full screen on. So let's just add that. Let me just stop this. So type in allow full screen. And that is true. So type in true here. And that should be all. So now let's go to the website. You can see here, stop playing in a second. It may take some time to load. Because it needs to load uh, like the video file, and it yeah, it kind of depends on your internet speed. But it starts playing here. So let's just remove that, and you can see here if I go back to Internet Explorer, it also plays in here. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all for today, guys. If you guys have any questions or problems, just send me a message on Skype, and if you have any suggestions, uh, post them in the comments below. So yeah. I think that's all for today guys, thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe.